All right, so we're just about to start the second cycle in this game. And just before we do, I want to talk about projects. Now, that's not a specific concept in this game. I just mean projects in a general sense. That's all the tasks that our duplicants will need to do to complete a set of things in the world. Now, the two things I want to say about projects, the first of which, never have too many going on at the same time. In fact, try to just have one, maybe two at any given time. The second thing I want to say about projects is you need to know the priority order of which projects to do at any given time. So for instance, on the first episode, I had our duplicates create beds and toilets. I didn't also try to get them to start creating oxygen, food, power, all at the same time. So I really just kept it to those simple things. And the reason I chose that is, for example, I know this world has oxylite, it's producing oxygen. If I produced oxygen on the first cycle, it's not really going to provide me any benefits. However, it, however, if I didn't have any beds, they're going to have sore backs from uh, sleeping on the floor. They're also going to make a mess if they don't have uh, access to the toilets. So that's why I chose those two things. So speaking of priority, what is the current priority that I'm going to get our duplicates to do? And that's, that's going to be oxygen and food. And I I'm expecting to be able to do this in two cycles. So for oxygen, we're going to use what's called an oxygen diffuser. I'm going to want to place this in a central location in my base because oxygen is going to push and move out here in all different directions. Uh, this is an optional piece, but I'm going to put a storage bin next to it, which are I'll get my duplicates to store algae. That's going to be the input to this device. And I'll put a battery. So duplicates are going to wake up, do some cleaning. They're going to finish the uh, wash basins. I'm actually going to mark this door as being open. There's really no need for them to uh, open and close it, unlike the bedroom door, which I spoke of last episode. So you notice I didn't create the manual generator yet. That's because this game has it set up that if a manual generator is there connected to a wire, even if there's no battery, they'll just pointlessly spin around on it. So I want to mark this as having algae. And the nice thing about this is whenever they run out of tasks, instead of just kind of standing around, they'll start throwing algae into this uh, thing here. So that's excellent. That's also an indication that uh, they need more important things to do because I don't really need them to fill that bin with algae at this time. So I'm going to build a research station over here. The reason for that is I don't have, uh, you're not able to do any farming without uh, basic, I think it's basic farming as they call it, but we'll, we'll see here in a second. Now what am I doing here? I meant, didn't mean to do that. I just noticed here I don't have enough metal to build a research station, so I just want to cut out a little bit of metal. There we are. I'm now able to build a research station. Now, while someone builds that research station, I'm going to want my duplicates to start uncovering some buried objects because that's where the mealwood seeds are going to be. So these little things here. Not all of them are going to be uh, buried object or mealwood seeds. It could be other things, but if I want some mealwood seeds, I'll need to. Uh, Need to bury that, or bury the, dig it out. All right, so now that all our battery exists and a wire, I'm gonna create a manual generator. Let's just up that priority. Someone could please get to that, that'd be great. Thank you, miner. All right, so while we do that, I'm gonna have them dig out areas that I'll probably want for rooms again anyway in the future. Gonna be careful not to uh, dig out these two objects, but at least replace them with a tile. Hopefully, it's, yeah, it's not the end of the day, so I'm thinking they should be able to complete that. Otherwise, they won't have a uh, barracks anymore. All right, research. So I want to start on basic farming. That's the first thing I research on just just about any asteroid. Scientist is the one doing it, so that's excellent. They are the most skilled. They also have a lit workspace bonus. That is because. I put the research station next to the printing pod, which has light. So that's why I did that. They get a little bit of bonus. I think it's 15% speed bonus. Uh, no, don't quote me on that, but. 
All right, so at this point, I want to choose, uh, we're kind of at the end of the day, so I'm not too worried about it, but so what I want to do is while they're just relaxing for a bit, I want to choose a place to put mealwood. That's my farm. I'm going to, I tend to like rooms that are four tiles in height, so I'm just kind of marking this out. This will kind of make it the third room up from there. And this is where I'm going to put my mealwood in the morning. I have to wait for research to be complete in order to do that, but I'll uh, also mark a few tiles that have buried objects around, because there's a chance that some of them will contain the seeds that I need. I will consider this, this as success if we get somewhere between, let's say, 7 and 10 things of mealwood starting to grow at the end of the cycle. We'll see if we can do that. You know what? I'm also going to put another bed here because if we have someone showing up at night time, I don't want them sleeping on the floor. It wouldn't be the end of the world, but I like to avoid that scenario if we can. If you don't have any uh, luck finding mealwood seeds, you can also rip a few wild ones out of the uh, ground. But I'm going to try to avoid doing that for the time being anyway. Alright, I already played through this game, so I'll just close the tutorials. Research is nearing completion. It's looking pretty good. We're getting about halfway. Research is already done. So I'm going to pause it for a moment just so I can get this in there. I really want them to prioritize on that. I believe they'll start working on that instead of digging. Maybe not. Okay, come on, guys. I don't need that. Get to, get to over here. All right, so they're going to use throw in some dirt. We'll have some of these, what do they call it, planter boxes. I'm going to fill one of them with mealwood and then I'm going to hit copy and I'm going to select the rest of them to have the same seed. How many pieces do we have once this is complete? 12 if we get all of this. So we're actually are nearly at 10. Yeah, we've surpassed our goal if we're able to get uh, 11 or 12. Now technically we need 5 per duplicate to survive long term. But I'm really not that concerned uh, because the idea here is not necessarily to make enough food for our duplicates to survive long term. I just want to get a uh, slowdown on the amount of food that they're, uh, they have in their stores so that I'm able to get to the next source of food. Let's have a look at a potential future duplicates. I see this this guy's interesting he's really a supply character you know what? I'm literally just gonna call him supply he is a strength benefit in uh, both ways well so that uh, that's perfect so he'll do supply and maybe a bit of uh, cleaning later on and I already created a bed for him I'll create another toilet though that one's not strictly important I'm a little bit worried here. Will that cause a leak? I don't think so. We're going to see what happens there. Alright, that means we'll probably need a little bit more food. I wasn't necessarily expecting to have the duplicate I won at this early. So we'll maybe just throw in two more pieces. Again, I don't need enough for them all to exist long term. I just need to slow down the rate of which uh, our food stores exist at. And if they've got any bonus time, why don't we just start cutting out some areas that I know I'll need in the future. Alright, I guess that's as far as they get, but uh, I'm happy with that. We've got a canister or storage bin of algae with oxygen next to it going off. Central location, the base. We have, I believe, 14 now? Yep, yeah, 14 things of mealwood. All, almost enough for three duplicates. We've got four at this point. And that, that's completely fine. I, I would consider that a success, and we'll move on to the next, uh, next project.